how does natural language processing, also known as NLP, work in AI? And, and certainly this is going to take longer than 60 seconds. Um, natural language processing, or NLP, is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling computers to understand, interpret, and respond to human language in a way that is both meaningful and useful. Now, the key components of NLP, um, there are a bunch of areas, tokenization, there's parsing, there's lemmatization, stemming. So let's just quickly go through each one of these. So what is tokenization? Well, tokenization is a process that helps break down text into smaller units called tokens, which can be words, they can be phrases, or even parts of characters. Uh, for example, the sentence, I love pizza, can be tokenized into I, into love, into pizza. Then you have parsing. Now, what this is, is it helps analyze grammatical structures of a sentence to understand the relationships that exist between words. For example, in the sentence, uh, the cat sat on the mat, parsing helps identify the cat as the subject uh, and sat on the mat as the predicate. And then we have lemmatization and stemming. And what this is, is a process whereby you're reducing words to their base or root form. Um, an example would be, you know, running becomes run, and that's lemmatization, and ran becomes run, which is stemming. There's another process called named entity recognition, NER. In, in this effort or process, what we do is we identify and classify key elements in the text, such as names, uh, organizations, locations, dates, anything of import. So for example, um, you know, in a sentence like Barack Obama was born in Hawaii, the NER would identify Barack Obama as a person and Hawaii as a location. Uh, there's also sentiment analysis. Uh, this is where you're determining sort of the emotional tone uh, behind a series of words to understand the underlying sentiment that is expressed. For example, I love this movie would reveal a positive sentiment. Um, another important area are the language models. And so the question to ask is what are these language models? Uh, well, these are statistical models that predict the next word in a sentence, enabling tasks like text generation, translation, uh, and more. For example, predicting the next word in I can't wait to eat might yield pizza or burgers or something else, again, based upon learned patterns from large text data sets. So let's understand a simplified workflow. Uh, the process begins with raw text input, such as a sentence or a paragraph. The text is then broken down into its tokens called tokenization. We then convert that text into this consistent format. For example, might be lower casing all words or some other sort of consistent format across the board. Uh, then we move into sort of the parsing and understanding mechanisms. And this is where we're looking at syntax and semantics. The structure of the sentence is analyzed and the meaning of each token is determined based on content. This is where NER and POSE tagging also come in play. These are named entities that are being recognized, and then parts of the speech, which is pause, are tagged, identifying verbs, as well as nouns, and other such elements. And then finally, there's the model application. This is where a trained model is used to predict or generate text, translate languages, or perform other tasks. And finally, the sentiment analysis, which is, if required, understanding the sentiment of the text that is analyzed to determine its emotional tone. And then what comes out from an output perspective is process text. The system outputs the process text, which could then be a response, a translation, or an overall summary of a, uh, a piece of text. 